It was December 15, 1999 in Vargas, Venezuela. People living there felt the earth shaking below them. Confused and terrified, they rushed outside expecting an earthquake. But what they witnessed was far worse. A massive torrent of water, mud and debris crashing down the mountains. Days of relentless rain had turned the land unstable, triggering deadly landslides that buried entire towns. Over 30,000 lives were lost and thousands were left homeless. This tragedy, one of the Venezuela's worst natural disasters, was a grim reminder of how extreme weather can reshape lives in an instant. Scientists now believe that such events can be linked to powerful climate phenomena like La Nina, which disrupts global weather patterns in unpredictable ways. This wasn't the first time La Nina left its mark on history. In 1895, Chile suffered weeks of relentless rains, flooding rivers and drowning farmlands. Towns were submerged and the country's economy came to a halt. Meanwhile, in Southeast Asia, the name La Nina face caused extreme droughts leading to widespread hunger and misery. What connects these disasters? A cycle called the El Nino Southern Oscillation or ENSO which alternates between two extremes, El Nino and La Nina. So what exactly is El Nino? El Nino, often meaning the little boy, is a phase where Pacific Ocean waters near the equator heat up. This warming disrupts weather worldwide. For example, El Nino often causes heavy rains and floods in South America while creating droughts in regions like Australia and Southeast Asia. Imagine the ocean as a giant boiling pot. When it gets too hot, it overflows as steam, releasing energy into the atmosphere. This energy spreads across the planet, disrupting weather patterns and causing unexpected changes. On the other hand, La Nina, meaning the little girl, is opposite to El Nino. During La Nina, the Pacific Ocean cools down as stronger trade winds push warm waters toward Asia, allowing cooler waters to rise along South America. This cooling causes ripple effects. Countries like Indonesia, Australia and parts of South Asia often see heavier rainfall and floods. Meanwhile, regions like the southern United States and parts of South America may face worsening droughts. For instance, during La Nina years, farmers in Southeast Asia often get good rice harvests because of plenty of rain. But at the same time, ranchers in Texas face problems with dry weather sources and failing crops. This shows how La Nina can bring both good and bad depending on where you live. La Nina doesn't just bring rain or drought, its effects go far beyond that. For example, it's often linked to an increase in hurricane activity in the Atlantic. Some of the strongest hurricanes in the recent history happened during La Nina years. It also causes devastating floods and landslides in countries like Venezuela and Indonesia. Events like the Vargas tragedy of 1999 remind us of its deadly impact. La Nina even affects what we eat. Droughts in some regions lead to crop failures which can drive up food prices across the world. And it doesn't stop there. The economic impact is massive. Floods, landslides and hurricanes can destroy industries, damage agriculture and cost billions of dollars to rebuild infrastructure. It reach touches almost every part of life. As we get closer to 2025, scientists are keeping a close watch on the Pacific Ocean. Early predictions show that a stronger than usual La Nina might happen. This could bring heavy rains and floods to places like Indonesia and Australia, while parts of the US and South America might face serious water shortages. For example, a farmer in India could have a great harvest because of the extra rain, but a farmer in California might lose crops because of dry conditions. This shows how connected we all are and why understanding La Nina is so important for everyone. The 1999 Vargas tragedy and the 1895 Chile disaster are stark reminders of La Nina's power. But today, we have tools that didn't exist back then, advanced forecasting systems, better infrastructure and global cooperation. These tools help us predict and prepare for La Nina's effects. 
Scientists warn, however, that as global temperatures rise, phenomena like La Nina could become even more extreme, bringing greater challenges. Preparing now is crucial to minimize the risks to lives, homes and economies. La Nina isn't just about cooler oceans or stronger winds. It's about how a natural cycle can touch every corner of the globe, shaping lives and economies. The question is, will we act on what we know and prepare for what's to come? The tragedies of the past remind us of the stakes, but the tools of today give us hope for a safer future.